Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really special to share with you all. DK Shop decided to reach out to me and send me a bunch of stuff for me to review. DK Shop is a Korean company that sells and ships Korean products worldwide. This is the perfect platform to shop on if you're looking for anything Korean or K-pop related, including K-pop official light sticks, albums, merch, as well as really cute stationery. There's so many different things that you can purchase on this website and they also have a lot of events going on including giveaways. Shopping on this website is also really easy. You just toggle over to the left column right here and there's different categories that you can browse through to shop for the item that you want. Here's an example of what they offer for their K-pop selection. So we see that they have a bunch of things available including albums, magazines, and different photo cards. They even have super rare items like this BTS 10th anniversary stamp packet which is only available for purchase in South Korea. So if you live outside of South Korea like me personally, I live in the United States so I was not able to purchase this stamp packet through the Weaver shop. However, through this website, I am now able to purchase it. They also have a pretty good selection of K-pop light sticks, so including all of the major popular groups. If you're into skincare or makeup, there is also a K-beauty section that you can shop for. They have all of the most popular K-beauty items. Something really cool about this website is there is a section specifically dedicated to K-hobby and this includes any manhwa books. They also have OSTs of popular K-dramas. If you're a photo card collector, make sure you check out their mystery photo card packs, which comes with five random official photo cards from lucky draws to album PCs. And if you're tight on money, don't worry because this website has got you covered with a section called DK Deals. This section has pretty great items for usually pretty discounted prices. So you can definitely find something that is within your budget to splurge on in this section. My favorite section is the DK boxes, which is their version of mystery boxes. I will actually be reviewing one of their mystery boxes at the end of this video, so make sure you watch till the very end. Thank you DK Shop for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to my unboxing. All right, so here's the package that got shipped to me. It is huge. It's so big that I can't even film the whole thing in a single frame. Okay, now let's open it up and see what items I got. Something I noticed is that they sealed it really well, so that's really good. And overall, the packaging looks really sturdy and super well packaged. And that is really important because all of these things were shipped directly from Korea to me in the United States. So I think having a really nice packaging is really important. And I think so far, DK Shop does a great job. I see a lot of bubble wrap here. Let's unbox it. Ooh, lots of bubble wrap. Okay, so as you can probably tell, I did end up getting a few items. And what I will do is I'll take everything out first and then we will go through each of them one by one. Here's the first item. Here's the second item. Here's the third item. More bubble wrap. And the last item is right here. I really love how there's an extra layer of the bubble wrapping on the bottom of the box to offer more protection to the items. All right, so the first item I got is this album right here. So let's open it up. Once again, very good packaging. Okay, so I ended up getting JK's golden album. This is the Weavers version. I previously unboxed the full version and I'll leave that video link down in the description box. So if you're interested, you can go check that video out after this video. Let's take the outer packaging off. I love how tiny it is. This is exactly like the regular version that I unboxed, but it's just smaller. I love it so much. I really love the colors. This is like a dark green color and this is a gold color and I love how it shines a little bit too. Here's what the sides look like. And here is what the back looks like. All right, let's unbox this. This is so adorable. Look at that, that is so cute. Okay, so I have what is, I think the photo book on my right hand and I think this on my left hand is the inclusions. Let's take a look at the photo book first. I love how it's so well made. Like look at the small details here. The different texture on here, it's 
absolutely amazing. Look at how nice the details are. Okay, let's flip through this. I'm so excited to see this. What? Wait, so we actually do get a smaller version. This is so adorable. Wow. Okay, so this is like a photo book slash lyric book. Yeah, so these are the songs and the quality of these photos are really good. Very nice. I just can't get over how cute this packaging is. All right, now let's take a look at the inclusions. This is the front and here is the back. This honestly looks like an invitation to like a high class event. I just really love this whole album. I think JK did a really good job with this album. I'm trying really hard not to tear the sticker and I think I did pretty good. Okay. All right, so let's see which inclusions I got. Let me turn it upside down just in case I see it. Okay, so we do get a few things in here. So since this is a Weaver's Albums version instead of the regular CD version, all of the music will be available through a QR code, which is the one listed right here. And you can access the music through the Weaver's Albums app. So here's the card for that. And oh, wow. There is a little image on the back here. It looks really cool. Okay, so I'll put that one right there. Second thing I got is this user guide, which tells you how to access the album on the Weavers Albums app. And I think there might be something on the back. Yes. Wow, so we do get another image. The next thing I got is this. I think this is a postcard, like a mini postcard. Not sure, but yeah, this is what the back looks like. And let's take a look at the front. Oh my gosh, it's JK. I just really love this whole concept. I think he really did a great job with this photo shoot. And I think this is the survey. Yeah, so I still collect these. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I collect these little survey cards. However, unfortunately, I live in the United States, so I can't access the survey, but I still do collect these cards because they have the album title. And I think it's just a really nice thing to keep in my collection. And finally, we have the photo card, and I think this is a randomized photo card. So this is what the back looks like. I love that it's really glossy and it's like a blue color right here. So let's see which one I got. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. I love the haircut, very nice. And you see how glossy this is? This is a really nice photo card. Okay, so that was the first item I got. Overall, very impressed. It's the same high quality item that you would get from, let's say, the Weaver shop. Second item, let's go. So as you can probably tell, I got another album. I know I mentioned this a lot, but seriously, look at the bubble wrap. This is like very thick and I think really like does a great job with the protecting of the album. Look what I got! I got V's album, Layover. I have everybody's solo album except for V, so I'm very excited that I get to complete my OT7 collection. Let's unbox this. Here's what the album looks like. I really love the design. It looks like a package sent from Kim Tae Hyun, which is really cool. Just FYI, I did order the randomized version, so it was a randomized option out of the three different versions available and I happen to get this version and I really like it. So here's what the front cover looks like. I love how there's like a little label here. It's kind of like a shipping label. I am a sucker for small details so I like looking at these little things here. It's so cute. That's V's dog. That's V and his dog and that's V. So handsome by the way. Here's what the side looks like. So here's the barcode, of course. And right here, I think these are the inclusions. It says magazine with me on the cover, a brochure featuring photos of me, personally selected by me, a poster of a rock star, and photo tickets of the films we watched together. Oh, that's so cute. Here's the back. 
Here's the other side. Oh, wait, there's more things in here. So we also get a catalog featuring our favorite songs, a checklist for those who tend to forget. Yes, that's me. ID photos verifying my identity. Yes, I'm V. Postcards containing private messages for you. CD that I recorded just for you. And letter written in love. <laughs> this is so adorable. And here's the last side. Let's take a look at the back here. Looks like he crossed out the track list which is quite interesting so i think he wants to make it like a mystery i guess oh my gosh guys i'm so dumb the words that are left are the track list so the first song is called rainy days the second one is called blue the third song is called love me again the fourth one is called slow dancing and then the very last song is called for us and i love this little design right here it really makes it look like a package and texture wise it's like a cardboard box all right let's open this album I see that this album is packed with a lot of things and the first thing I notice is if I can get this up here handwritten notes wow and they're on like these like yellow notepad papers these are so cool like these are literally Taehyung's handwriting and I can't read Korean yet so I'm still learning guys okay so I would have to put this to Google Translate I just really love this album already Oh my gosh, isn't this the cutest thing? <laughs> so this is Taehyung's dog. So cute, so adorable. First thing we have is the survey code. Next we have this, this is the CD, I believe. Here's what the front looks like. Here's the back. I love how everything is in B's handwriting. Okay, so let's open it up and see what the album looks like. Oh, wow. I really love how simple it is and it literally looks like V just took a sharpie and just wrote over a plain CD. I think this is the release date, so it got released September 8th, 2023. Ooh, what is this? That looks really cool. I think these are the um, photo cards or whatnot, so let's take a look here. These are the photo cards, I think, so I'll put them on the side first. Let's take a look at these postcards. So we get two postcards. One is horizontal, one is vertical. And oh, that is so funny. So this is the place where you put stamps, you know, to mail the letter out or the postcards out. And he drew like this little person down here. That's so funny. And then he wrote some notes on here, which is so cute. And let's look at the front. <gasps> okay, so we have two concepts here, one that's black and white and one that's like a really cool concept. He looks so handsome. He's not my bias, but he is very handsome. Now let's take a look at these photo cards and they are a little bit upside down for some of them. Oh, this is so interesting because there's five tracks and here are the five track names on here. So I think there's one photo card corresponding to each track. So let me first order them. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. This is for the first track called Rainy Days. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. He looks so good. Here's the second track called Blue. Oh my gosh. These photo cards are so adorable. And also something I'll mention is that the quality is really good. It's not like the regular typical photo card quality. I think these are a little bit thicker, which is really nice. Third track is Love Me Again, which is actually my favorite track on his album. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, so cute. Okay, number four, it's Slow Dancing. I also really like this song. Very nice, love the long hair. And last one is called For Us so cute these photo cards are so adorable and they're so glossy too which is one of my favorite things ever okay now let's take a look at this are these little notes like notepads oh so this is a checklist wow okay i thought it was like a little checklist like just like a single sheet i didn't know it would be literally a checklist that you can use which is really nice looks like we put down some of the things on here so this is the first page and then you get to fill in the rest for your own checklist. And I think there's seven days on here. So I think this is a weekly checklist, which is really nice if you're going to use it for like groceries or doing your daily tasks. So very useful. Curious to see what this is. 
Oh, so this is like the lyrics booklet. Okay, so here are all the songs. And then the other side. Very cool design. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Oh, wow. This is so creative. I think this is probably one of the most creative albums I've unboxed. Next, we have, I think, the photo book. This honestly looks like a designer brand magazine. And I'll probably put this on my coffee table or something because it looks really aesthetic. Up here, it says lay over and the tracks down here. Here's what the side looks like. The back. All right, let's take a look at the inside. So let's do a quick flip through here. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I am a sucker for black and white photos. And wow, these photos are just amazing. Wow. Seriously, doesn't this look like a high-end like magazine, you know? Like for those like Louis Vuittons or like the Gucci magazines. Like this is so cool. Love this concept. Okay, so that was the photo book. All right, next we have this thing right here. Not sure what this is, but here are the front and backs. Let's take a look here. Oh, more photos. Very cool. And I think this is the last thing in here. So we have a poster. Let's see. Here's what the poster looks like, very high quality. On the bottom here it says lay over. And here is Taehyun, super high quality. All right, final thoughts on this album. I think this is honestly one of my favorite albums ever in terms of packaging. So much thought and effort were put into the designing of this album. And I think that's what truly makes this album special. Also, there's just so much things included in this album, and I think this album just keeps on giving, which is something I really enjoy. Overall quality, 10 out of 10. Moving on to item number three. All right, guys, guess what I got? I got a mini army bomb keychain. I've been wanting to get this item for literally the longest time. And every time I check on the Weaver shop, it's sold out. So I was really excited when I saw that DK shop had this on sale. And just FYI, you can also purchase a lot of different groups light sticks on TK Shop. They have a very good variety of light sticks that you can purchase, including the Army Bomb. This is what the front looks like. It's exactly like the packaging for the special edition Army Bomb, which I unboxed previously. And I'll leave a link to that video also down in the description box. So if you're interested, you can go check that video out after this video. So here's the front, here's the side. Here's the back, here's the other side, and here's the bottom, and here's the top. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Oh my gosh, look at how adorable this is. This has got to be one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. Look at how adorable this is. This is the Map of the Soul Special Edition version and look at all of the small details. It literally has every single detail that is present on the regular army bomb. I'm literally shook at how well made this is. This is such high quality. And down here we have the keychain and this is something that I really like because you see how the hook up here, it looks really sturdy and not those like really cheap types of keychain. I think this is perfect for taking on the go, especially if you're going to like a little mini like BTS event or something and you don't want to take your army bomb, but you also want to take your army bomb, you know? So I think this would be a great thing to just carrying on your bag or like a backpack or something. So you can take it with you wherever you go. All right, now for the final item of today, I got a mystery box. Previously, I have unboxed a lot of mystery boxes on this channel and I have ever since been really into mystery boxes because of the element of surprise. So I was really excited when I saw that DK Shop also had their own selection of 
mystery boxes. There is a variety of mystery boxes that you can choose from. They frequently add new mystery boxes into their selection as well. They recently just added one for BTS. These are limited boxes that could sell out, so if you want one, I highly suggest that you purchase one quickly just in case they run out. I end up going with the K-Beauty box right here with K-Pop. This item contains nine of the most popular K-Beauty products along with one random official K-Pop photo card and one official K-Pop album. Everything included will usually come out to be $180. However, the mystery box is only on sale for $60. So let's see if it's actually worth it or not. All right, so here's the box. It is quite heavy. All right, so it comes in this really sturdy, hard cardboard box. Okay, let's open this up. Lots of bubble wrap. I'm starting to see the items here. Ooh, okay. First off, really love how everything is packaged with its own like protective bubble wrap and not just thrown all in here at once. Good job again, DK Shop for the packaging. The first item I got is this Mediheal blemish pad. It comes with a hundred pads and it comes with a little tweezer. Here's some information on how to use this product. And I personally really like Mediheal. They are known for their face masks, which I have used and they are really good. So I'm really excited to try out these blemish pads. This product looks brand new, never opened and Looks like it's of pretty high quality and it's quite heavy too. So yeah, can't wait to use this on my skin. Next, let's take a look at this one. What do we have here? So we have a foam cleanser. I'm almost out of my current one, so I would definitely be using this one next. So this is a rich and dense foam and this is for oily skin types for cleaning dead skin cells. Here's what the back looks like. So it has all of these things right here to exfoliate and clarify for healthier skin. All right, let's look at this one right here. Next item, I got this Huggable Cotton Fabric Freshener, and I'm not exactly sure how to use this. I think you just spray this in your bedroom, like your bed sheets or something, that's my guess. But yeah, very cute. I loved a little bear, super adorable. Next, let's take a look at this item right here. I got this Multi Care Stick Balm, very interesting. So I think you put this on your skin and it kind of works like a lip balm, however you put it on your skin. But yeah, let's take a look at what the inside looks like. Oh, this looks really pretty actually. So here's what the stick balm looks like. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's kind of like lipstick. And it smells like peach, which is really nice. Let me try it on my hand actually, so. Let me put this on here. So you can't really tell the difference on camera here, but I do feel that my skin is a little bit more hydrated. It's really dry where I live, so I think it's nice to have something to hydrate my skin. And also now my hand smells like peaches, which is really nice. Let's take a look at this item right here. All right, so I got this Ampule. And this is the brand name. Oh, it's these things. Okay. So yeah, this is what the ampule looks like. And these are usually really good for your skin. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks a little yellow in color. And it has all of these ingredients inside. Very excited to try this one. Now let's take a look at this red one right here. I am very excited about this one because I've heard really good things and reviews about this particular item. So this is called the Musique Mansion. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's an object liquid for your lip. Here's what it says. And here's the side here. Okay. And let's see. Let's see what's on the inside. Wow, this looks so pretty. Wow, this has got to be one of the prettiest lip balm products that I've seen. This is so pretty. I love how this is glass and this is the actual product, but that looks like a piece of artwork. I personally have never used this before or something like this, but 
I'm thinking it's something like lip gloss or something. I'm not entirely sure. If you know more about this item, please leave a comment down in the comment section. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And there's what the bottom is. And I think to use it, you just open it like so. And oh, okay. So it's one of those um, ones that it comes with this little thing and then you put on your lips. So this is the color. I think it looks really pretty. Just in case you were wondering, let me blend it a little bit. So if you blend it, it comes out to be something like this color. I would definitely be wearing this to work starting Monday. Now let's take a look at this item right here. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have heard really positive reviews about this sunscreen. This sunscreen went viral a while ago and I've been dying to get my hands on these and I just never got the chance to. So. Very excited that this was included in a box. It's by Beauty of Joseon, and this is a SPF 50 plus sunscreen. I've heard really good things about how this one really is a good product for people who have sensitive skin. But here's what the front looks like. Here's what the back looks like. I would definitely be using this one on a daily basis. Okay, we have two more beauty products, so let me try to find them. I think they are down here. Looks like I got two different face masks. The first one I got is a tea tree oil face mask, and this one is really good for moisturizing and hydration of your skin. Here's the front, and here's the back. I just realized this is the same brand as this one. I'm very excited to try this face mask. And the second face mask I got is this one. I think this is vitamin C. I love the image right here. It makes it look like this face mask has a lot of vitamin C, which is really cool. So here's what the front looks like. And here's what the back looks like. Also, can't wait to try this one out. All right, so I unboxed all nine K-Beauty products. So now I have to look for the random K-pop album and the random K-pop photo card. So let's look for those. All right guys, look what I got. So I got this album. I think this is an album. So we'll take a look at that. And this photo card, and this is an official photo card. It's from NCT Dream. I personally do not know much about NCT Dream. I know a few of their songs, but I'm not really sure who their members are. So you guys have to help me identify who I pull. Looks like this photo card is from an album, I'm guessing called Reload. One, two, three. Cute. Okay, um, I do not know who this is. If somebody knows who this member is, please leave a comment down below. I would love to know who this individual is. Like I mentioned, I do not know who this is, but I have to say, this guy looks really attractive, okay? <laughs> and I love how this is a holographic card, because look at the background. It shines a little bit. And it says NCT Dream on here. This is such a pretty card and I love how the packaging is done on here. So they use this really thick, high quality sleep protector so your card doesn't get damaged in the process. So very neat. Last thing we're gonna unbox is this album. I was not expecting to get such a mini album. And who is this? Oh, this is Vivas? Okay, I'm not sure if I'm saying their name correctly. I apologize if I'm not. But yeah, I do know a few of their songs actually. So yeah, I'm very excited. This is their third mini album. So let's take a look. Let's open this up first. Here's what the album looks like. Here's the front, here's the side. Here is the back. Here's the other side. And here. All right. This is such an adorable album. I love how small it is. It literally fits in the palm of my hand. Okay, so let's take a look at what is inside. Whoa, this is so cool. So here are the members. They look super pretty. And also, I didn't know that there were three members in this group. I thought there was more than three. I wonder what inclusions are in here. Oh, one more. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. All right, so this is quite interesting. So first thing I got is this. It says Omji. I think that's one of the member's names. This is something that you could hang on like your bag or something. And I just realized this star is squishy. Very interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, I think this is the lyric. 
booklet or something. So this says Viva's the third mini album. It's called Various. I think that's the album name. But yeah, we have the members here. Let's take a look. Oh, so cute. I love this whole like mini albums designs. I just get really excited with super mini things because I think they're just so cute. Okay, so next we get this thing right here. I think this is like a sticker or a photo. Not sure. But yeah, let's take a look. Oh, so pretty. Very nice quality. Photo card time. I'm not sure if this is a random one, but judging by the fact that these other ones have the members' names on them, I think this one is the random one. But yeah, it looks like I got Jimbi. Very cute drawing. Okay, let's see what the front looks like. So pretty. Oh my gosh, these members are so pretty. And of course, we get a little QR code here. So this one works kind of like the Weaver's QR code for Weaver's albums. And oh yay, there is a group photo in the front. This one is super adorable. Okay, now let's finish off with the three photo cards here. I'm not sure if these are randomized or not, but let's take a look. Okay, so the first person I got here is Omji. Oh, so I got her little charm thing. Okay, so let's look at which card I got for her. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, wow. All right, next person I got is Jimbi, I think. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, she's also really pretty. Wow, everybody in this group is so attractive. And last person I got is Una. She looks really pretty. Okay, let's see. Ooh, seriously, like everybody in this group is so pretty. All right, so here's everything I got in the K-Beauty box with K-Pop Mystery Box. Overall, I think this is such a good deal with all the products here. I think they're all really high quality. And I think this is a great option for people who don't know what they like, but would like something to surprise them. I think this would be like the perfect gift for your friends or your family or even to yourself if you would like, because I think it has a good variety of things that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis and also feed your K-pop obsession. I think it's super worth it. For 60 bucks, you get all of this and I don't think there's anywhere else that you can get such a great deal. That is everything that I got from DK Shop. And once again, thank you so much to DK Shop for reaching out and sending me over these items. You guys are amazing and thank you for packaging everything so well. Overall, in terms of quality, I think everything was really high quality. They are all official products straight from Korea. Shipping time was also really great. Everything came within a week. The price I'm paying for shipping is a lot less than what I usually pay for on Weavers Global. I would definitely be purchasing to see more items from DK Shop. I think they offer a great variety of items, especially items that usually you would find are sold out on other platforms, but they would have it. So I think this is a great option if you're looking for more limited edition or hard to find items. I also highly recommend getting one of their mystery boxes like the one I unboxed here, the K-Beauty one with K-Pop mystery box. The quantity and the quality of items you get are extremely good for the price you pay. Also, I think this is also a great platform to get your K-Pop albums and K-Pop merch. And I do have a little gift for you guys, which I will leave down in my description box. So if you're interested in purchasing from DK Shop, go ahead and check out my little gift in my description box. And I hope this video was helpful. If you're still watching at this point in the video, please comment the word merch down in the comment section so I know you made it all the way till the very end. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye!